Hey there, Pisces. How are you? It's your force fairy here. Nice to see you again. Well, let's take a look at what the Pantheon of Pisces are up to this week. I am feeling with you, Pisces. That you're making some decisions. Some you're making real. I don't want to say tough because they're not tough decisions. I think you've just changed your perspective and you have decided. So let's say you've decided to move. You're moving. Let's say you've decided to change your job. You're going to. Like it's it's these decisions. I'm feeling very very instead of you know that I could go anywhere. I could do anything. Sort of mutable. I'm feeling a lot of. Um, decision-making, cardinal energy in you, Pisces. And, and just when I pick up these cards, just it's a very decisive energy. So let's see. Let's see what comes out right there. Seven of Swords. Have you found doubt about some lies, betrayals? Have you been the one who have been lying and betraying? Or have has this Seven of Swords come on to you? Have you made decisions based on, I'm going to say falsities, based on lies, based on betrayal that you have just recently found out? The crossing energy is the strength, and it could be the strength to really see the wood from the trees, having the strength to admit if you've been a little bit, I don't want to say, I'm going to say it, if you've been on, if you've been lying to yourself, first and foremost, Pisces, because I find just in my experience, really good liars, like people who are really good at lying, they lie to themselves first, so that then those lies then become their reality. Once it's real to them, then they can present it out there as truth, when in fact it's falsities, they're lies. So have you been lying to yourself to then have the strength to lie to others? I don't know, Pisces. Death. It's the ending of and it could be the ending of lying to yourself, the ending of someone who's been lying to you, the ending of and the new beginning. And that's what your higher self is saying. Your higher self is saying it's time to end this uh, way of being, this frequency, and it's time to change channels, Pisces. You know what I'm talking about. Yep. Change a direction, a new path. I believe that of love. And you, you guys are. The mutable sign, mutable energy, I should say, for the cup, for the love energy. So you can go with the flow in the past. Justice. This is cause and effect. This is, um, and the, the sword is up. So as these swords are all down, coming kind of, and I'm seeing these swords kind of behind you, almost where they could be going towards your back. For some of you, there have been a lot of lies regarding, and if you're in the court system right now, this could be regarding uh, creative projects, uh, licensing, trademarks, and you're going through it. And people have been either lying to you, scamming you, using you for your ideas, for your content product, whatever. And in the recent past, you might have had to have taken them to, to court. For others, this is just cause and effect. What you have done is now coming into the cause and the effect. Now, there's something very interesting about cause and effect that um, it's almost like symptoms, physical symptoms are the cause of something else, right? It's a symptom. And I kind of feel that way about the cause energy. Oh, I know the reason why I've been experiencing this, or I, um, I've had these um, situations come up, and it's because it's because of whatever exterior. I want you, Pisces, especially with the Pisces reader. I want you to start going within. If you don't already, fantastic. But some of you are so concerned about the external that you don't realize that you're actually causing it from internally, and then it shows up external. So we'll get some clarifiers on that justice card because I'm really hearing cause and effect. Page of Pentacles. Oh, and this is an excellent. This is a beautiful energy of what you've learned. 
And again, I keep seeing this seven of swords as you lying to yourself. What you've learned, you are now, what you've learned with that practical application. I, the page of pentacles for me is, is things that you've learned that you then put into, into real life, into this 3D, into practical application. So I do have my number one son. Um, number one is an avid reader and he reads a lot. And then when he tries to put it to ap practical application, like one time he tried to make um, a bowl, it didn't have the right type of wood, it was too thick. Then he went to thinner type of, um, I guess, branches, they were too thin. There is something to be said about practical application that you can read about it, and then until you, you know, try to. Uh, um, either create or make this thing, try to do this thing, try to apply what it is that you've read. That's what the Page of Pentacles is about. And I'm really feeling that with this, these experiences that you've gone through, with the path that you are changing, with the death and rebirth of whatever this means, whatever has put you through that strength card is the crossing energy. You could have been going through uh, the court system that you are now, what you've learned, you are applying to your life. Page of Cups. The Page of Cups. This is your energy. The page, and this is sort of like I'm feeling today, this is you talking to yourself in a good way. This is you um, really taking a look at maybe how and you've been talking to yourself it could have been in negatively it could have been um how you really perceive who you are and now you're taking a real look i've got fresh new energy with the page of pentacles and the page of cups how other people see you communication learning to communicate learning to communicate how you feel learning how to communicate what it is you've learned they see you as really the eight of wands is communication the two of swords the two of swords is I'm hearing today not wanting to see, refusing to see the wood from the trees, refusing to see, not wanting to see. And there's two sets of truths is what I'm hearing. Your truth, someone else's truth, and it could be, again, regarding the Seven of Swords, and underneath the moon. So no one really wants to speak the truth. And the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment for some of you and emotional independence for others. You are standing up. That which you might not see is that seven of wands. Standing up and believing in yourself. I keep hearing Pisces needs to believe in themselves. Oh, upside down. Split the deck. Knight of wands, king of cups. Knight of wands taking action on that which you love. King of cups. That's Scorpio energy. And I got Scorpio up top there. Your higher self is saying something needs to come to an end, Pisces. Well, let's take a look at the Seven of Swords because this needs to come to an end. When it comes to lies, betrayal, when it comes to negative self-talk, when it comes to putting yourself down, putting down others. Ooh. This looks like one, two, three, four. A four card side story. This is having to do with the Seven of Swords. You are disappointed. Disappointed in the ending. What is ended? Oh, disappointing. It almost feels like this could be death of ego that you have kept in your mind, locked yourself into what it was your ego has told you. And it's all secret. That's very much what I saw in the hope and our fear is that have you been lying to yourself Pisces have you been telling yourself what you your ego wants to hear instead of what is bottom of the deck ace of cups love yourself first beautiful that is beautiful that is again practical application the learning how to love yourself and then doing the steps it takes what are you willing to do what are you not willing to do. All right, seven of, let's clarify, the seven of swords right there. The knight of cups. 
the Knight of Cups is your creativity, Pisces. The Knight of Cups could be an offer coming at you, but is it a real offer when it's clarifying the Seven of Swords? For some of you, just be aware. And the Ten of Cups. Have you been lying to yourself about your happiness, about what makes you happy? Is it what makes other people happy? And then you tell yourself, oh, I love making other people happy, but serious, it takes strength to do so. This is very interesting that the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups are clarifying the Seven of Swords. Now, for some of you, I keep feeling that the Seven of Swords is you lying to yourself. And when it's clarified, is it that what you do, that what you love to do, you're telling yourself that you cannot do, it's not something that I can make money out of, let's say. Let's say you love to paint and you keep telling yourself, yeah, I'm, I really love painting, but I can't do it for a living. Those might be, and, and yet, if you put your stuff out there, um, you would find out that what it is you love to do, you can actually make a lot of money doing. But that requires ending something that might be um, solid, that might look as if it's secure, gives you stability, and you're not willing to take a risk on your creativity, on your said paintings, if we use that as an example. That's the different path, right? Taking a path, a leap of, we'll see if the fool comes out. Let's see what this death card is. You have, you're emotionally, or emotionally, you're financially independent with the nine of pentacles. Is that what's come to an end? And the queen of pentacles. So you are, when we get the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, clarifying the death card, that which comes to an end, you just know Pisces, that you are well taken care of. You have put everything in place to be, because the Queen of Pentacles is very stable. Um, she can be a workaholic, so just be aware of that. She loves her independence. She is a very independent soul. And so your higher self, Pisces, is reminding you that you are able, you can take a risk and something, whether it be a job, whatever it is, to pursue that which you love. Which road are you going to take, Pisces? You're looking at something that's stable, traditional, and you're, this is where you're confused or that you refuse to see. So let's go up to the hope and our fear which is this two of swords, because that's your focus on foundation, is that you refuse to see something, a new opportunity, a golden opportunity that you've moved away from with the six of swords. Have you moved away from a golden opportunity or are you moving towards a brand new opportunity that the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles sees? That you have to end something. Your higher self is saying you want to move on that golden opportunity. Stop lying to yourself. Do what you love. You're very talented. This is worth a lot of money when you put your effort and your energy into that which you love. I see justice. There's that page of cups right beside the knight of cups. And that's how you see yourself. Come, something has come to an end. Of, and again, the world card is a victorious card. It is the ending of a time, the ending of a cycle, the ending of um, some karmic debt is what I'm feeling. And you've put your time in. You've resolved and forgiven because again the page of cups is a forgiveness card you have forgiven yourself maybe for lying to yourself you've forgiven yourself for being deceived for deceiving and now through love look at all this love the page of cups knight of cups ten of cups with all this love and stability of the nine of pentacles queen of pentacles ace of pentacles let's go over here to how you see yourself you see yourself as moving on good pisces moving on 
And again, we have this King of Cups, head and heart decision. This is Scorpio energy. And the Scorpio energy is, is a pure, loving energy that really goes deep, that really looks beyond the surface, goes um, deep into why. Takes a look at the logic, the reasoning, almost like a king of swords, but then balances out with love and compassion. Are you having love and compassion with yourself? Are you moving on with love and compassion after forgiveness? Beautiful. Page of Pentacles, practical application. The Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, ooh, two fives, and the Five of Wands. So, this is very much combative energy. This is very much feeling like a victim, feeling loss, feeling grief. And with these two fives clarifying the Page of Pentacles, I think you're really taking a look at how drama has affected you emotionally, how it's affected your decision-making process, how it's affected your life, how it's affected where you go, where you end up. Is it um, through guilt, shame tactics, whether they be put on you or you put on other people? Do you start drama? Do you end drama? Do you avoid drama? That's what this Five of Wands really feels like, just stirring the pot and then being left out in the cold or giving others the silent treatment. That's, and you're learning how to better, I don't know, um, deal with your emotions and how they then affect your behavior and what behaviors are you taking based on what you feel. Ooh. And that's what the King of Cups is about. The King of Cups is about taking actions that are both logical that deal with reason as well as love and compassion. Okay. Communication, how other people see you. They see you, for some of you, wait, let me get another one out. They see you very hurt. Maybe your words are hurtful. You've made a decision with this lovers And they see you, either you're trash talking or you're, you're really expressing the, the heartache, the hurt that you have gone through. Interesting. And that's how other people see you. I see a decision here, a choice. When it comes to love, you choose to love. You choose to be loved, you choose to love. You can't force it, you just choose. So, are you choosing yourself first? Are you choosing others first? What choice have you made? We are in Gemini season. So there's a lot, of, and again, when I see this Three of Swords, are you communicating how much you've been hurt to other people? How a lover might have hurt or betrayed you? How you might have hurt and betrayed a lover? There's a lot of communication regarding this three of swords. It almost makes me want to move this. I'm going to. And that is because I feel that you are blind to the fact that you need to move away from this, this heartache, this hurtful feelings, these, these, and it could go back to the Seven of Swords, that you are really telling yourself these stories, these narratives that are hurting you, and you don't see it with the Two of Swords, that you're maybe with a new opportunity, a new opportunity in love, maybe with a fellow water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I see this as Scorpio, you're moving on, you're moving away. And I love the fact that we've got the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles in your higher self saying, Pisces, stop all the internal drama, the internal fighting, the internal feeling sorry for yourself, the internal hurtful thoughts, because you are emotionally independent and financially independent. Oh, the weight of taking what you've learned and applying it. This is a feeling of rejection. 
either you're rejecting someone else or they're rejecting you. But there's rejection with this Four of Cups. And normally I would say the Four of Cups is very much an emotional stable based card, like it's stabilizing your emotions. Um, I'm really feeling rejection and you don't care. Do you look, do you see this Nine of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. This Nine of Cups guy is really confident really confident with where his emotions are, where he's going moving forward, and that he really doesn't need these empty cups that are being handed to him. He's got nine full cups behind him. He knows that, yes, it takes a lot of responsibility to be aware, to be, um, I'm just going to say aware of what your thoughts are, what your emotions are, and what they mean, and how they, um, how they affect your decision-making process, how they affect your behavior, your actions, the decisions that you make. And he's quite confident in the decisions that he's made, and his emotional stability. Now, that which you might not see is the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords. That which you might not see is that you are making logical, wise, again, this is very Libra energy, that you are doing what's right, not just for you, but for some of you, for your family. Um, the Queen of Swords really takes a look at contracts, at and she communicates effectively. She communicates, she's very straightforward. She's very clear. She's very, um, she follows the rules. Uh, and if there's no rules to follow, she makes them. She puts up boundaries, safe and, and beautiful boundaries that she holds. And this is where the Seven of, of Wands comes into play. She holds, she's holding her ground. And that's what you're doing, Pisces. You're holding your ground. With what? Very much, I feel that this is having to do with the Justice card. If some of you are in legal proceedings, you're taking a look at every single thing. What have you signed without knowing that you did not see? What is it that you signed? Um, for some of you, how you can get out of it? What are the loopholes? Are there any loopholes in your contracts? And you're defending the actions that you've taken. And it could be regarding your creativity, regarding that which you produce, you put out there. That which has made you an independent soul, independent financially and emotionally, and you're not backing down. That's beautiful. You are not backing down. Let's see. I see 910. I see 255. Let's do 255 first. Let's get some angel numbers on this, Pisces. 255. Doors to abundance and opportunity are swinging open. It's time to stand in the spotlight and shine. I really feel that's what this Knight of Cups and Ten of Cups is about, is regarding your creativity. What you, that is that you co-create. I see 55, and I see 554. Let's do 55 first. 55, major shifts are taking place in your finance and state of abundance. With the Queen of Pentacles up here, with the Nine of Pentacles, absolutely. Know that opportunities to soar are coming your way. 554 is the next one I see. There's a fine line between effort and effortlessness. Your angels are inviting you to trust them and their ability to help you believe. That's what you stand for, Pisces. You believe. I want you to believe in yourself. This, this reading here today is really about you believing in yourself. When the first card out is the Seven of Swords, and I feel like you're lying to yourself, that you're telling yourself that you're not creative. Meanwhile, you're the most creative <laughs> entities on this earth, right? You might not see it. I see 63. Now, any numbers that you see on my table, Pisces, that I do not read aloud, those are personal messages for you. Get your book and take a look. If you do not have an Angel Numbers book, go to the description box below, click on the link, and grab yourself a book for all future reads. 63. Releasing situations that are draining will make room for miracles and expansion. Take time to release the old. And then the last one I see... 553. Five, five, your input and efforts are being acknowledged and will pay off. 
right up there. They will pay off. Continue with your current momentum. And the last one I see is 1010. I go to the time for that. 1010, you're on the cusp of something miraculous, Pisces. Trust that God and angels are one and are with you now. And that's what I see for you. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.